Okay, so guys, uh, welcome in this new session. And uh, today I'm going to teach you, um, you know, another topic that is called inheritance. So first of all, we have to understand why inheritance is needed, right? What is the use of it? Clear? So I will come with the definition of the inheritance, what inheritance is, why it is very important, why it is used everywhere, right? In the in the in the you know in in, in design, right? Oops, concept. So guys, uh, see here, I I design a car. What I does, man? I design a car. Can you see this? My car color is blue. Hello, and uh, this car only can horn can give a horn, right? Only horn. So car has horn. Hmm? So how many features this car has? Any guess? Just one. One feature. One. So tomorrow some customer comes and he said, I don't want only horn. I need, uh, you know, run as well. I want my car should run. So you have a couple of, uh, you know, solution for this uh, problem. First solution is go and modify the existing. What is it? Class. Go and modif modify the existing class. Go and modify. The modify the existing class. So what is the problem with this? Problem is, if you modify the existing template, all uh, you know, all other car which is uh, designed with this template, they will also start to run. So the customer who took this in lesser price, you want uh, we want uh, the people who took it in lesser price, they should get a new feature. No. Mm -hmm. So adding uh, adding new behavior in this car is a good choice. Tell me, no. no. Another solution is you take whole code and copy paste and add a new method, right? This solution, uh, you know, uh, seems to be okay, right? Because in this template has one feature and this template has two feature. Hello, but mm -hmm. but problem with this approach is we are uh, you know duplicating whole code. That is not a good idea, right? So what is the third solution? So first of all, tell me, do you understand the issue with the first solution, solution one and two? I'm saying, do you understand the problem with? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Really? Yes. Okay. So if you understand the issue with this, then third solution is create a new class, right? Create a new template uh, like class uh, runner car. And here we have a keyword, right? Uh, that keyword is known as extends keyword, extends. So what it does, like whatever code you have in car, it is copied into a uh, runner car, but logically, not physically, right? Car has its own uh, code and runner car, it just extends, it means logically you are copying it, right? Then here you can give the another method, another feature run. What you can see here is car can run system dot out dot print ln hello mm -hmm. car runs. I don't know you got this much or not. Yes. So what is the difference between uh, this design and second one is this design seems to be perfectly okay, right? Mm -hmm. Why? Because in this uh, using extend keyword, I'm using the code. Yes, you know. So which one seems to be optimal? Third one or second one? Third one. Yeah, everybody or I just said third one. That's why you guys are also saying third one is good because I'm saying. I didn't get it at all. Sorry. Even I don't understand at all. <laughs> so let's understand all together, right? People. Uh, who said I don't understand at all? Me. Me means me. Hassan. Ishan. Hassan, sir. Ashan. Where you are in this? And Peter, I don't understand the difference between one and two. Can you come close? Uh, Hashan, right? Okay, Hashan. Hashan, what do you don't understand in this? Which part? First part? Second part? Third part? Everything. You don't understand at all, right? And no. uh, are, you, are you attending my class daily? Yes. Okay. So let me try again, sir, and come with me. Here, do you understand? Uh, this is my first design. And in my first design, car can do what? Tell me, Ashan. Car can no. only horn. 
So tomorrow, some other customer comes and he said, "I want horn as well as I want my car should run." You got the requirement or not? Yes. So in that situation, you have two options. Either uh, you can go and add the new feature inside this car. But if you add this new feature in this car, then what is the issue? Issue is old customer, right? Who is using this template? They will get this feature run free of cost, right? Unnecessarily. Yes. They don't want it. They want. They said, "I want only horn. I don't want run." Right? Somebody saying, "I need horn and run both." So if you add in the same class, all will get all the feature, right? Which is not correct as per the business. Fine. New feature um, you should add uh, give into the new version. So I'm creating a new car, and in that I'm copying all the code from here, adding new method, right? So tell me, this solution seems to be okay, right? Second solution, but problem is you are co copying whole code physically, right? Suppose you have two thousand yes. line of code, you are again uh, repeating it, making redundant. Yes. That kind of code will be difficult to manage. Sir, reply. You have to say yes, or no. yes, yes, you know. Yes, yes, I get it now. Third solution is. Use extend keyword. What it does? Make a new class, run a car. Extends. Extend means copy all the code from the car in this class, right? But logically, not physically. So you are copying all the code uh, from the super class uh, so from the car. So logically, it yeah, logically, copy logically, it. physically is not copy. So same thing, right? So you tell me, runner car has how many feature? Two feature. Run is from own class, and uh, extend means a car, car class one feature hard. So, so this is the best solution, right? In this terminology, the class uh, before, uh, you know, this, uh, sorry, after extends, so whatever class you have, this is called parent class. Which class, sir? Parent class. Parent. Because it is parent, right? That's why it's called parent. And here uh, you can uh, call parent class or you can call super class, right? But in Java, we use super keyword always. So, so who is the super class? And the class which is inheriting the feature is called, uh, I forget it, subclass or child class. So, who inherit the feature of whom? Child inherit the feature of parent. Applicable in real life as well, right? Nobody can say, oh my God, you you got this feature from your child. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You're not replying. Do you know child? Yeah. Of course, sir, of course. So only child can inherit the feature of parent, but parent cannot inherit the child uh, feature of children. This is called inheritance and unidirectional. Are you following me? So in what is the inheritance? Inheritance is the mechanism. Definition I can share with you somewhere. I'm not writing it right now. Okay. Inheritance is the mechanism through which subclass can get the behavior and attribute of superclass. That's correct. Yes using inheritance right so can you help me to write it using inheritance subclass what can do subclass subclass can inherit access, access. That, that's correct subclass can inherit attributes and behaviors what, sir? behavior of behaviors of the Papa, parent, super, super class. class, right? Parent class, all are the same thing. Done, and uh, it allows reusability of the code. It is right. Yep. So this is clear. Or you got little, little confused in this. Anybody have that kind of thing? Hmm? I hope inheritance is clear to everybody. Yes, got it. You would say what the inheritance your answer should be uh, it is a mechanism where super class can sorry subclass can inherit all the feature from super class and it allows the usability of the code got it now we have to understand different permutation combination of the parent and child relationship so inheritance is clear inheritance in subclass can access attribute and behavior of the super class this is called inheritance we have uh, different type of inheritance like Normal inheritance, multi label, uh, multiple inheritance, hierarchical inheritance. Okay, we'll talk on that. So, sir, 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 if you, I'm just going with this and uh, trying to make another slide for you. Please help me. 
and this other part is irrelevant so i can delete this mm -hmm. please help me this code is okay right so how many classes you see in this two classes one is car and second one is runner car runner runner car so two classes so when you do the programming you have to make two class one is car class second one is runner car so guys let's see uh, let's see some observation and follow my formula class main man this class name is correct yeah you have to say yes you know people Right. you guys are not in the class i'm yes. saying this class name is correct answer yes 200 percent correct okay. why here i need to find those people who are sleeping in my class then we think oh my god this class is best place to sleep <laughs> <laughs> we're talking right normally i don't feel sleepy but when i come to the class i don't know what happened i started <laughs> sleeping I think it's good, right? Sleeping is very good exercise for health. What do you say? Hmm. Hmm? But not no? last time. Oh no. The year, I don't know, you guys. Uh, the fact is, if you attend somebody's class, you will feel sleepy. That is true. That's why I'm calling your name always. You know reason? I don't want it. Uh, no. At the end of the class, you start to cry. Oh my God! Nobody called my name, and literally I was sleeping. I just, I just get up. Sorry, yeah. Okay. So see here I'm making an object of car. Can you see this? This is and I'm calling default constructor, right? Right, guys. In this car class, can you see the default constructor? Yes. Who who is inserting over here? Java compiler. You know it, right? If you don't write any constructor in your class, default constructor is injected by the compiler. Hello. 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 Talk okay. to me. And this car, right, has a, how many feature? Only one feature. It can only on. That's correct. This car can. Uh, this car can run. No. Why? No. Because this car is just in ten dollar. How it can run? If you want to uh, basically have a horn and run, then you have to spend more dollar, right? Twenty dollar, kind of. So this car can run? No. Why? Because uh, this is does not have feature of run. Okay. If you want your car should run and run both, you have to buy runner new car. car. RC, runner. Right, new runner car. Oh, nice. Runner oh, car has feature of car as well as own feature. When I say RC dot horn, what happened? First of all. This horn method will be searched in the runner car, right? If it is not there, it will go and check the papa. Hey, papa, do you have this horn method? Yeah, right? So in this case, horn method will come from the parent class, super class, right? Say yes. And can we call RC dot run as well? Yeah. Yes. This is clear or you got confused? Mm. Hmm? Got it. Really? So this program you can, huh? Uh, so the the C dot horn, you know, we have to uh, call that as well. Even mm -hmm. though the RC dot horn is a no, no. Yeah, of course you, you have to method you have to call it right. Otherwise, suppose I want to cry, so I have to cry right. Automatically, nothing will happen. So here you have to call the method, right? Horn. Are you following me? So in this car, what feature we have altogether? Only horn. So you can call only horn method, but you have to call it. Make sense? Call. And here, what I'm doing? Here uh, I'm having a runner car which has code from car as well. So I can call RC dot horn as well as RC dot run. Both will work. So what? Anybody have any confusion on that? This is all written in one class, right? Can you come again? This is all written in one class. 
No, no. Normally, the ideally, what you should do for this, you have to make a three class altogether. That is the best practice. Can you see this? One file, this. Hmm. You can make in one file, but that's bad idea, right? But do like this. I'm creating three file altogether. Say yes. Yes. So this is good practice. Okay. For everything, you should make. Hello. One class. So, how many classes we are going to make for this? Three classes card, runner card, and main main. Hello. So, yeah. in this, uh, wow. you have to remember a thumb rule, right? I'm going to tell you the my my formula. If you use that formula, you can predict the output easily in inheritance. How? Right. If you want to, if you want to call a method, right? So we have two sides. You see, we have a right side which has method, which has class definition. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Right side means creating the object. Mm -hmm. What it does, creating mm -hmm. instance of card. You know it. And uh, left side is nothing. It's just a reference variable of card type, which is holding the address of. The what object. Does? Any guess? C object. Is holding the reference of address of the object what are going mm -hmm. so left side will decide uh, if you're calling a horn method right <coughs> left side will decide whether horn you can call it or not again i'm telling you this you have to remember left side will decide we can call horn or not for example car c right horn you can go and check in the car. Hey, car, do you have the horn method? Yes, right? So left side will decide whether you can call the method. But definition will come from right side. Don't confuse. In this left side and right side are same. Yes, you know? New car, car, and here car. Make sense? But in real life, I will show you left side and right side. Sometimes it is different. So what rule is calling the method? Any guess? Left side will decide whether you can call horn or not. So in, in this horn is present in uh, car? Yes. yes. And definition you can see from the right side. In order to see the output, uh, where you look for the car the, uh, horn definition, right side. Got it or not? Mm -hmm. The left side, for example, runner car RC horn. You will go and check it. The horn is present in the runner car. No, we don't have. So then it will go in check and car, right? Horn is there. You can call it. But definition, for definition again, you will search from the subclass, right? Yes. If it is not there, then it will go in child class or uh, super class. Child class to super class, right? This formula you have to follow. Fine. So left side will give you uh, which 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 will only ensure whether you can call the method, but definition will come from right side. Please remember it. Hmm? So this program, everybody has to type. Do you think you can type this program? I'm yes. Asking. So we are calling two times for the parent class. Yeah, yeah, that actually we have two object of the car. One car when you are here, we have two object of the car. Now, oh, when you are making new car and when you're making a runner car, it is making an object of car, right? So we have two copy of the yeah. car. One is car and second one is the part of the runner car. Please remember it. That. Okay. You got this much? And uh, another uh, important and confusing rule is what rule is? Am I audible? Yes. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here, I'm telling. I'm going to tell you another interesting rule. Why it is? I'll tell you tomorrow. Okay. Like here, what you can do is, sir. What is the output of this program? Tell me. Car has, has, has one. But what you can do is super class uh, ref C, right? Like super class, what I said? Super oh, class. Yeah. Super class reference variable can hold the object of subclass also. Here you can make a object of runner car under the condition. Are you following me? E, this is the rule. Right side, you have object of what? Object of runner car subclass, right? But left side we have. <laughs> Super class reference variable. I don't know, mm. but this is possible in case of 
subclass inheritance you are right it is possible in case of inheritance what's possible sir superclass reference variable can hold the object of any guess superclass reference variable can hold object of subclass subclass right means it is only possible because of inheritance yes. please remember it why why it has been done why this concept is there we'll come to know tomorrow so the, here you can call it but what about uh, method calling right superclass can point to the object of subclass this is also known as i forget it who will help me to recall it upcasting what it is called upcasting right so here a c the using c can i call the horn right oh miss mr what is the formula first of yeah. all you will check right in c means car we have horn or not so in car we have horn yeah yes you can call it but definition will come from the right side i told you first of all for horn it will look into the subclass runner car hey do you have horn no it will go and check in the parent right definition will come car has horn but what about a hey, be careful but what about c dot run do you think this will work no why follow no. my formula follow my formula See, my formula says whether this method can be called or not where you will check it my formula says you will check into hello you will check into car right in car do you think we have run method no no in right side we have definition side we have but accessibility side you don't have so what happened this will not work why it is designed will come to know okay why this is not possible sir since tell me the since uh, it is not declared any guess in subclass in car in parents in car class please digest it the given though definition is there right runner car has the definition of run method but, but uh, this object is pointed by c right so c does not have accessibility of run method so you cannot call it this concept is clear or you got confused anyway you got confused is okay but you try to understand this is the concept okay and on this concept uh, we'll learn something more tomorrow hmm okay hello and hello and hello this is clear mm -hmm. hmm? i don't know you you got this point and one more thing uh, i'll confuse one more point and get confused and come back tomorrow but uh, you have to say again you, you taught me this uh, yesterday right so people you have to say you taught me yesterday right like what concept is hmm, this is clear right so this is possible sir and you can like you can you can only call on or so here c is pointing to right now at this line c is pointing to car or c is pointing to runner car any guess i think c is pointing to car ah c is pointing to runner car at this point like here here c is pointing to car mm -hmm. right if i give you point number 1 at point number 1 c is pointing to car yeah. at point yeah. number 2 c yeah. is pointing to car. new car if c is pointing to new car then c is a reference type car then c can be a type car into subclass like this parenthesis open and close is called type cast operator so what i'm doing sir I'm I'm type casting car into runner car, but it is under the condition. If my car super class is pointing to subclass, then what you can do? Type cast it. Hello. What I did? Like here, my C car is pointing to uh, runner car. Then C, since it is pointing to runner car, then C, which is car type, can be downcast into runner car subclass. Subclass. 
and if it is then you can call both the method but i have done for today okay you just go and digest this much concept and come back tomorrow all this program uh, just make it 10 times okay you follow what i'm saying yeah can you repeat oh. one more again from this yeah yeah the, what i said is this is the concept right car, here at point number one c is pointing to new car hello and yes. you can call the horn method because uh, c is present the horn is present in the car then at line number two what we are doing please come with me what we are doing at line number two is pointing to runner car class yeah now yeah. c is pointing to uh, runner car yeah in this situation right c right c which is pointing to runner car you can downcast it this is called downcast operator this is called type cast operator so here we are uh, what we are doing downcasting the reference let's see it as a parent class right yeah yeah c here is the parent and parent you are typecasting into child right runner card that's why it's called downcast okay. you following me so this is the c reference right i'm able to downcast it hmm? into child runner card if it is runner card you can call both the method yes or no now you can call rc dot horn see uh, rc dot rc horn is present in the runner card no hmm. It is not here. It will go and pick from the parent, right? Yeah. Yes. And what about run? Again, it will go and check in the runner card. Hey, runner card, do you have the R run? Yeah. Yeah. So definition will come from the right side. That's true. It is, it is runner guy in this case. You got a point? Like here, yes. when we have, this is called upcasting. In upcasting, uh, super class can access only limited method. Say yes. 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 But when you downcast it, you can get all the. But why this kind of concept is introduced unnecessarily, right? But we'll come to know tomorrow. The benefit so of downcasting is they call we call for both for parent class, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Downcasting is only possible when upcasting is there, right? Downcasting is only possible when there is upcasting. Upcasting is not there, there's no question of downcasting. Please remember it, okay? Okay. So whatever I have done, please go and do practice and ensure whatever I have done is correct or not. Make sense? So how many programs you have to make? Just make a different project, okay? One project, this program. Are you following me? Second project, this program. Hello? Third, mm -hmm. third project, this program. And fourth, this one. And go and practice all the four programs. And I'm telling you, this is important. If you do practice again and again, you'll come to know. If you're not able to understand, let me know. So people I have done with the class, stopping recording over here so that you can watch it. Thank you so much.